goals, reap the benefits of ownership, right? But the reality is things don't always work out that way. And here to unravel the good, the bad, and especially the ugly of timeshares is real estate expert John Adams. John, how you doing, man? I am, I am well today, thank you, but I freely admit that I am prejudiced against timeshares. It's a great marketing concept. Unfortunately, it's not a particularly good real estate investment. Well, we appreciate your full disclosure right here at the very front of this. Okay, <laughs> okay. so the concept, though, it seems like it could make a lot of sense, right? You spread out the cost among a bunch of ownership um, and families, and then everybody's a winner in this, right? It I, seems it, like it should work. It sure seems that way. And uh, last year, the average uh, timeshare sold for about $20,000. You put $5,000 down and make payments of maybe $150 a month. And then once a year, you pay $850 for maintenance. And you get a full week at, in heaven that is free, essentially. Right. Well, if you it's run the free. numbers, it's <laughs> not free. And if you take $20,000, multiply it by 50 owners, you got a million dollars. A million dollars is a lot of money, yeah, even is. at the beach. And then that $850 uh, as a maintenance fee, multiply that by 50 weeks. Somebody's making a lot of money here, and it's not you. Yeah. So that's you part of it. on the other end of the timeshare, the I developer or the owner, the, right? The, that's who makes the money on these <laughs> All right, things. so we talk about four major problems with this. Let's break them down. What's, I, what's I think there one? are. The first problem that I have with timeshares is they are terribly complex. Unlike buying a house, which is very... Um, standardized and we all do it and the paperwork's pretty much all the same. With these uh, timeshares, they're extremely complex. You absolutely need an attorney and even then you may not fully understand what your obligations are. You've got 52 owners of what's essentially an apartment and, and what if somebody wants to bring their pet? Well, do we take pets? What mm -hmm. if somebody wants to paint the kitchen green? Do we want the kitchen green? Who makes these decisions? The answers are not clear. And anytime you have 52 people, I assure you, <laughs> you're going to have 52 opinions. Yeah, no doubt about that. And it makes for, uh, it, it, it just causes controversy. It just does not work. Number two, things just, life happens, right? I mean, that week may not work out for you every year for the rest of your life. You know, when you are 25 and you've just won a free vacation to mm -hmm. Puerto Vallarta or, or someplace, Cabo San Lucas, and you're, uh, uh, you're staying at this really nice place and they say, wow, you just signed this thing. You get to come back every year for free for the rest of your life. The problem is you're not going to be 25 forever. You may not want to be in Cabo San Lucas at once a year for mm -hmm. the rest of your life. And this time may not work out for you. Um, our lives change. We have children. We move. We, we have different things, stages in our lives. Right. And committing now to a specific week on St. Simon's Island for the rest of your life every year, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a tall call. I haven't even committed to this summer yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number right. three, they don't generate income. You know, we talk about in real estate, there are five key characteristics we're looking for. Income, depreciation, appreciation, equity buildup, and leverage. Okay, that was real quick, but those are the five key characteristics of a real estate investment. With, with a timeshare, you get none of those. There's no leverage. There is, is no income. You, if you're allowed to not go at all, I mean, you don't have to go, obviously, mm -hmm. but you are not necessarily guaranteed the right to rent that. It, they would have to do that for you. They're going to take half of that rental if they allow it in the first place. Right. So the income is just not there. You're losing money on this deal from beginning to end. But at least they're easy to sell. That sell, right? That's number four. They're easy to unload, right? <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> if, if there's a reason that $5,000 that you pay uh, up front, all of that goes to the marketing mm -hmm. cost. The guy that pressured you, he gets that $5,000. <laughs> and the reality is when you decide that you want to sell, there's a huge resale market and almost no takers. And that's because one reason is they're building millions of new ones all the time. The market is flooded. People don't know that until after they've purchased. It's just not a good investment at any level. That's what we learned today. John Adams says don't buy a timeshare. That's right. All right, John, thanks a lot. And John's going to be here for the next hour to answer all of your real estate questions on our Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. 820 is your